welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be talking all about our recent conservatory extension project. If you are new to my channel my name is Katie and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. But I wanted to give you a little bit of background into our home and also into this recent project. So we moved into our new family home nearly eight months ago now and we moved in knowing that it was going to be a complete renovation project. So we bought it as a renovation project and over the years we want to completely renovate it from top to bottom and when we moved in we had enough money from our existing sale, we made some money on our previous house to be able to do one big project and over the years this house is going to have lots of big projects done to it, we want to rip out the kitchen and the utility room, rip out all the bathrooms, do the garden, we'd quite like to convert one of our garages and even in years to come this is a big dream but I'd love to have like a loft conversion or something as well. So this is a house that we are pretty much going to live in forever unless circumstances change and it's a house that we want to do a lot too. But we had enough money, like I said, from our existing sale to be able to do one big project and we ummed and about what to do. First of all we thought about maybe doing a garage conversion and in the end we settled upon this conservatory extension and the reason we decided upon that is we actually did the same in our last house. The only difference was in our last house there wasn't an existing conservatory there to knock down we just extended and had an extension but in this house we actually had a conservatory there already but the conservatory that was there was quite an old-fashioned one it was one of those hexagonal lots of white PVC with a plastic PVC roof and it was one of those ones where it got really really boiling hot in summer so much so you could hardly kind of stand in there and it got really really cold in winter and so we really wanted to transform the space and make it into a more accessible and nicer room. So we settled upon this conservatory extension. I get a lot of people ask me about it. It is still classed as a conservatory, however it is completely open plan now. We knocked through so it would feel more like a room rather than as an add-on conservatory, but it actually still is classed as a conservatory extension. We also did little things to make it so it felt less conservatory-like, so rather than have glass walls all the way around, we built up an internal wall as well so therefore it kind of only has glass on two sides so it feels very much like a part of the house. It has completely transformed our home. We now pretty much live in that 99% of the time and at the same time we got the living room and dining room done as well but I think I might talk about those in a different video because otherwise this video is going to be really long. So what I have done is I have filmed a couple of snippets as we were going through the building process just so you got an idea with the existing conservatory I showed that as well and then towards the end of the video I've done a tour of the new one so I have never done a video like this before I hope it works and I hope that you enjoy it and if you're looking to do something similar I hope it gives you some inspiration as well but I'm just gonna go now and show you the video so this is our conservatory before and you can see there's lots of white plastic everywhere and it's got one of those really old-fashioned plastic PVC roofs as well. So this is the conservatory from the inside. As you can tell it's quite old-fashioned. Since we moved in a couple of months ago we haven't really used it for anything just because there was no point buying furniture for a room that we were going to be changing anyway so we've kind of just really used it. It's normally a bit untidier than this but we've used it for the kids, some of the kids toys that they keep downstairs and you can see that the flooring is just a little bit kind of ropey in parts and it's absolutely boiling in here today because it's really warm outside. It's got one of those old-fashioned um, roofs so it's plastic so when it's hot it's really hot and when it's cold it's really cold and it's got one of those kind of old-fashioned fans and yeah it's just generally not particularly, um, particularly great and you can see that it shuts off like that as well. So we have got back from holiday and they have started work on our conservatory and as you can see they have started to pull it all out and get rid of the existing one. 
It is the 27th of September and after a couple of weeks of no activity happening on our extension it's now started again. They were waiting for some glass to be ordered and things have really come on since yesterday. So yesterday we had absolutely no framework at all apart from the brick wall at the back and now we have got a framework and we have got something that's starting to resemble a roof so I will show you kind of what's going on inside. So I am stood in the extension now and this is the existing doors. These will be ripped out eventually because we're having it all open plan but they won't do that to the last minute. Firstly because they want to cause us as least disruption as possible and secondly because they need it to be more watertight but eventually they will be ripped out and then if I show you how things are progressing here so we have something that resembles a framework now which is really exciting. This has all happened really quickly. Yesterday none of this was done so they put up the frame work yesterday and this is all bifold doors along this side then we have got glass um, floor to ceiling windows and then also a glass gable end roof with this extension we're trying to let in as much light as possible because we love natural light and we really want to kind of make a feature of that then the roof has gone up as well. Yesterday, this wasn't here at all. When I left the house this morning, this roof ha wasn't here. So they've got this up really quickly and they have started to insulate it, it looks like. And then these two spaces here are really quite big. The camera doesn't pick up how big they are, but these are gonna be filled with Velux windows. And you might have seen if you followed our last house kind of renovation that we had Velux windows in our last house and we absolutely loved them. So we were definitely gonna get them again for this time but this time we've opted for more of the kind of higher range spec of Velux windows so we're going for Velux Integra windows and they are solar ones so I'm really excited to get them in and they are going to let in so much light when it's kind of come down to it so yeah it's looking really good so far I'm really pleased with it you can see here as well that this is where our old conservatory stopped so our old conservatory was more of a kind of old-fashioned hexagon shape so that has now gone and they're going to need to fill in the floor and make everything even in here so it is the 4th of october and i thought i would give you a quick renovation extension update so the biggest and most exciting thing that has happened is that they have broken through so the existing doors are no more and it's just created such a big amount of space and it really now feels even though everywhere is a complete mess that it really feels like this new extension is part of the house and so if I show you what they've done, so currently they have plastered the walls. That happened yesterday and they are just letting them dry, which is why there is nobody here today. You can see it's still quite wet in places. And then the floor is going to be all one level. It's going to be wood floor. So they're going to need to fill these in. This is where the existing window ledges were. And then if we come inside the extension, you can see where that boarded up bit is, that is gonna be glass, that's gonna be what they call a gable end roof, but we're just waiting for the glass to arrive. And then the Velux windows are now in. I will explain a little bit more about these when it's finished, but we've gone for solar ones and they look great. They give so much light off, which is really exciting. And then here are the windows, which I think I have already showed you. And yeah, it's looking really great. We're so excited that it's now starting to take shape a little bit. So our conservatory family room extension project is now finished and I thought I would show you around. All in all, the project took about three months and to say we are thrilled with it is an understatement. We absolutely love it and it has completely transformed our family home. We live in our new family room about 99% of the time. So here is just some views of it from different angles. I'm gonna be doing a separate living and dining room tour here is a view of it from standing in the conservatory looking back at where the external doors used to be and here's a view of it from the other side as well and you'll be able to see that it lets in so much light the floor to ceiling glass windows let in loads of light as does the triangular rooftop as well and we also have Velux Integra solar powered windows which also let in loads of light too 
And then I thought I'd walk you around step by step. So as you walk in, we've got a Dylan sofa from Sofa Workshop. I'll try and link to them below if they're still in stock. But we wanted a really comfy family sofa that we could all lounge on rather than a really stylish one. The cushions are from a mixture of places. There's one from made.com, one from Matalan, and one from M&S. And it's just such a lovely spot to lounge in in the sunshine. We've also got a storage footstool as well, which is great for hiding toys. The frame is from Oliver Bonas. Originally, I wanted prints. And then my husband said it might be quite nice to put up photos because it's our family room. And I absolutely love this frame. I got a little garland for the top of it from Maison de Monde in the same colours. And I just really love it. Then the table is an absolute bargain from Georgia Asda. I think it was £29 and it's got a kind of fake marble top but it looks really realistic. The little trinkets on there are from different places. The planter is from Maison de Monde and the candle is from Home Sense. And then I got this pack of coasters in the sale from Sainsbury's for about £3. And then the light is from Habitat and I love that it matches the white and blush pink theme we've got going on and it's also really cosy in the evenings as well. We've also got some toy storage from Ikea just for the odd toys we leave down here. And then our floor is from Candine. We had Candine in our old house and we got on really well with it with the kids. The rug is from Next and it's really fluffy and comfy. And the Candine is just a really nice light colour and is just really, really authentic. It does look like wood. And then we've also got a really long stylish radiator. I think that was from Screwfix and we just really liked it. it was kind of like a feature we've got a small tv and then we've got this basket which is from tk max that i put our throws in and then i wanted to make it quite green because obviously it's a sunroom and it looks out onto the garden i have got an obsession with house plants and so i decided to get a fair few for in here and i really think it works well as a garden room so this one is a pink leaved one and the basket is from tk max this one is a bargain £12 planter from Matalan. Then this one's the plants from Ikea. This planter is from Next, but I think they've sold out. And I put 99p fairy lights around it. And you can see here in a different light just how much light the room gets. It's amazing. And then these are the bifold doors to get outside. And there's another view of the Velux windows. We use the panel to open them and it's really great. They're solar powered, like I said, and they work so well. And you can see just how much light they let in as well. And then if you go outside, you can see that it's a really stylish looking extension. We absolutely love it. It really does look stylish. And it's amazing when all the bifold doors are open. I cannot wait for the summer when we get the garden done and we can sit out there and have all the doors open it's just such a lovely room we're so pleased with it it's so light it's so airy and this is what it looked like before I cannot believe it and then this is what it looks like now so it's such a amazing change so there you have it, there is our new conservatory extension. Like I said on there, we're all so thrilled with it. I still can't believe every single time I turn the key in the lock that this is our home. It's really hard when you buy something as a renovation project to see the bigger picture and to see what it is going to be like. And I never imagined that something like this would be our home. Don't get me wrong, it's not a mansion, but to us, I still cannot believe that we live in a house like this and I'm just loving every single minute of turning this house into a home but I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions for me do leave them below because I know that on Instagram I do get quite a lot of messages about our extension and likewise if you enjoyed this type of video because I've never done one like this before then do leave me a comment below saying what other type of interior kind of videos you would like to see and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye